Hi, Jia from Origo, and、uh, I heard lots of people complain that Origo's white paper is pretty hard to understand, and、uh, so we designed this, and we plan to give a、uh, several talks about like what's Origo doing and uh, uh, what we plan to do, and、uh, what we can bring to the community. So Origo trying to do、uh, like a scalable. Privacy preserving platform, so for decentralized applications, so people may want to see see why this is important, and、uh, so I want to like so the first thing maybe is more about the background stuff. So today's outlines more about like say current privacy issues、uh, on current blockchain and、uh, what Origo's contribution and.、Uh, How it works and the the more detailed stuff I gonna like introduce later like in the in the yeah yeah later days. So currently, like say, smart contract is pretty good, pretty great. Actually, making the digital asset is actually controlled by piece of code. So you can use like a code. You can use this kind of smart stuff to making this digital asset transfer like. By this kind of logic and running on the chain, this stuff is much more like、uh, interesting or much more like a、uh, uh, more functional, just than like sending money from like person A to person B. So this enable lots of possibilities. Like say you can do a voting, can do auction, you can do uh, uh, like a game, like a betting. Like a poker game, lots of stuff that, all like the lots of DApps they have different like mindsets. They can like design lots of stuff, but the problem for current smart contract running on Ethereum is like there's no privacy. So the reason that why there's no privacy is because all of the nodes need to have the ability to actually validate or actually rerun verify the contract. How do they verify the contract? They need to rerun it. They they need to have the ability to run the contract. In order to run the contract, they have to have the input data and the, the execution by the by the input data, and then output the execution results so people can compare. Right. So by this way, it's more like there's no you cannot ensure the privacy on current Ethereum because otherwise the contract cannot be validated. Right, so there's no privacy. There's no privacy for the input data of the of the contract. There's no privacy for execution result. So you know that, uh, what what people input, and you know, okay, what's the result of the stuff, and this limits loss of usage because you think about current real world contract, you don't want everyone to know that okay, your salary is it's like a, some number, and then. Okay, you get you get paid like like biweekly, and this is a bonus, and you don't want this kind of stuff open to everyone, right? And、uh, you don't want to say, okay, I attend a、uh, auction, and then all of my my bid is actually people know, okay, you bid the house, and then you lose it, right? If you if I if I get it, then I'm glad I can tell my friends, okay, I get a house, this is the price. But if I lose it, I don't want everyone to know. Okay, I build a house and lose it. This is my price, right? So this this is just like examples, and this limits the usage. So we want to say, okay, blockchain is pretty good. Blockchain enables the the way that the security you can guarantee the security, you guarantee the cor- correctness. But could, could could this do do more? Could this the more applications? Could real world application, real world scenarios landing on this stuff? So this is something that we want to solve. We want to engage. So Zcash only like provide like they have like a private transactions, but they they don't have logic. So it's more like okay, they have like privacy. They uh you can send money to someone and then people don't know okay you send the money and they don't know the amount, but you cannot do anything else other than that they don't have any like a smart contract logic, right? They cannot enable that.
So Origo is like trying to do is like Origo trying to enable the not only the private transactions, but also enable the private preserving smart contract without reviewing like private input and output, but also making this kind of smart contract could be verifiable. So, so it's something like say, you do something secretly, then people will say, okay, I don't trust you. I don't trust your smart contract. But Origo will enable this, the possibility say, okay, you do something and then you don't tell me the detail, but I, I can guarantee, but you give me a proof. By verify that proof, I can guarantee, okay, if you do, do this thing wrong, then your proof is actually wrong. And uh, I cannot get approved. I cannot like approved by you. By giving this proof, I verify this proof. If the proof is correct, then I can guarantee you say, okay, you do something correct. And I don't know anything about this. So this is what Origo's like uh, logic. So currently like, uh, why you say lots of people will say, oh, why privacy important? I can say privacy, there are lots of privacy problems around the world and also around the blockchains. And uh, privacy is actually growing global concerns. Like uh, lots of people like the GD GDPR and the like uh, data is actually using by centralized company and then you don't know actually they use your private data or even they sell your private data so you get like a uh, lots of like spam calls. And uh, this kind of for privacy issue is a, it's like a growing. And this kind of centralized company, they have the problem is like, they say, okay, they don't use your private data. They said that they, they delete your data, but the problem is how do they, how do they prove that, right? So the, so this privacy problem is like growing and growing. Lots of people concerned about it. And for, for blockchain, all of the information usually are like public on current blockchains because they need the information, they need the stuff to, to actually verify it for, for transactions. They need the they need the all of the history to, to replay to guarantee okay safe. They need they need the history to do verification. And for Ethereum, they need the input and all of the state to run the to execute the uh, contract again and then getting the result. So it's not a problem for like a centralized service. Uh, if they, if you believe the centralized service and then don't you believe that they, they don't leak in the data? Okay, then your private your privacy is only like you believe that that centralized service. But a problem on blockchain is like you have to expose all of your data because if you don't explore the data, then then the node cannot validate it, cannot rerun the ex cannot re-executed the uh, smart contract to get the result, right? So so current, think about like a normal, like a real world contracts. Lots of contracts are, have like sensitive data, like input data, for example, like an insurance contract. And, uh, and uh, for example, like the, the, the supply chain contract, you don't want other company know, okay, that's the price you buy the goods. And uh, that's your personal data that you get the you get the insurance contract. So and also there are lots of like details you don't want to tell other people. Let's say auction, you don't want the detail the the the, the process of the auction to let uh, uh, any other people know it. So so you lots of like a real world stuff you don't want the sensitive data and detail to expose. And also, and the theorem is like a pretty pretty hard is it actually fails to protect those privacy because you have to have this kind of data to verify it otherwise there's no way so this kind of limitation actually res restricting the individual and the personal usage to about the blockchain so they cannot move like a real world stuff and their like a daily stuff or their lo business logic on the blockchain because if I move those stuff on the blockchain, then I have to say oh, all of the data, all of the detail have to be public. So this is something really restricting. So we, as as Origo, is like Origo try to make this private and make this real world stuff can land in on there. So we make a private preserving application platform 
So like all of the application can run on our Origo. And then the detail of the application, the input data, the output data could be private as you need. And definitely we can, we can support, like if you don't want this data to be private and you want it to be public, then definitely we can support it. But we, the, the, key, the key feature for us is like we can also support this kind of private preserving applications. So, um, and we can guarantee this kind of stuff is can be verifiable. So the way we do it is like we making this computation to off chain, and then but the problem for off chain is like you do something on off chain, and then how to make this computation because this this work is doing by someone else or even by you, but how how do you persuade or how to how do you like uh like other other nodes other people on this blockchain trust you, so we also make this off chain computation verifiable, so. We can, which can like guarantee a high security model. And uh, we also provide a scalable architecture. Let's say people may say, okay, this kind of architecture may cost, may, may be really slow and lots of stuff, concerned about that. But we have a scalable architecture. We can guarantee this, this kind of stuff can be acceptable and, uh, and it's really fast and then it's actually can guarantee this. So this is what uh, Oracle plan to do. And uh, for, for developer side, it's like, uh, we don't need the developer actually to need to know zero knowledge proof and need to know this crypto tools. We can let them actually writing this code, writing code still as, as usual, but still can like uh, guarantee this kind of um, security and then making their development uh, process pretty smooth. That's how we'll go and that's how, uh, yeah, that's the that's the stuff we were doing, and uh, yeah, uh, this is today's content. It's more about background, what we plan to do, and what's the why the privacy is important. And uh, uh, tomorrow I will talk more about, let's say the uh, the current status and the, the the current status of the of the whole blockchain world and. Uh, where Origo sits and the, what's the what's the what what's the yeah purpose or what's the benefits of the Origo. So yeah, uh, thanks for joining today about the introduction for Origo and the white paper the white paper go through and uh, welcome to like join tomorrow and then let's continue this work.